Hey all, hope you're having a good morning. Welcome to the Christmas 2019 edition of Entom Opens Up. You can substitute Merry Christmas with Happy Holidays. I don't really care. We're not judgmental here at HFC, unless of course we're talking about flame, in which case it's a okay. But uh, today I have something actually kind of special, at least to me anyway, because when it comes to Christmas, I associate a few things with it. You have tinsel, you have mince pies, and among other things, you have Harry Potter. For some reason, this series has just always, like, been aligned with Christmas for me, so I figured it would be best if I actually opened up a booster box from the base set of the trading card game. This, as some of you may know, if you can actually see by the thing there, is by Wizards of the Coast. Uh, it came out in 2001. Uh, it was meant to compete, if you'll allow me to just take a sideways glance at Wikipedia here. It meant to compete with Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon and Magic. Uh, do, 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 do. Release was timed to coincide with the theatrical premise of the first film in the series. Praised for the way it immersed children in the Harry Potter universe. At one point it was the second best-selling toy in the United States. However, it's out of print. And uh, let's have a look what's in here, because we got a lot to get through today. 36 boosters. Uh, each with 11 random cards, rule books not included. Uh, new players should start with the starter set. But uh, I'm going to assume that you know how to play Harry Potter training card game, and if you don't, I'll uh, expound upon a few rules as we go through. Volk and I actually did a board game blowout episode on this very training card game, so you can go check that out. It's also on the channel uh, if you want to see how it's played properly. But uh, I'm going to open this up, and uh, then we'll get started. Alrighty, here we go. Let's go ahead and dig on in. Oh, look at that. All those trading cards, each with 11 random gamer cards. What I'm going to do for this one is, because I actually have a, a big backlog of questions here, is I'm going to open up seven of these booster packs, then I'm going to answer about five or so questions, and then we're going to go on from there as we see fit until this whole shebang is over. So I'll just lay these out so I don't get confused here. It's a little bit more organized than your regular and Tom opens up, but uh, what the hell? You know, it's Christmas, might as well do things right here. So we have six Horcrux Eye here, if you will. If I open them all, I will die, I guess. I don't know where I was going with this joke, but whatever. Let's go ahead and open these. Hopefully they're easy to open. Ah, we're dealing with the tough foil here on Christmas morning, folks. Oh, no, we're not. There we go. I have no idea what order the rarity these cards are in, but um, we're going to do our best here. All right, there's the back. And we're starting with Lost Notes. Choose one of your opponent's items or lessons in play and discard it. Let me just explain a little bit about the cards here. This thing here is a lesson card, I believe. They're the basic units of the game. Each provides one power. So it's like a, an energy in uh, Pokemon, uh, stuff like that. So you will need five charms. Yeah, five charms to be able to play this particular uh, card, I believe. The types of cards are lessons, which are needed to play other cards. Uh, spells, uh, which are directly played into the discard pile and have a given effect. Creatures stay on the table uh, when played. Uh, characters do not have a printed power cost or lesson type and just do not require lessons to play, although they do require two actions. Uh, let's see. Adventures, like characters, do not require lessons to play and require two actions. They have an effect on the opposing player uh, to solve condition. Uh, must be accomplished for the opposing player to remove the adventure. Uh, items stay on the table when played. Uh, they have a printed power cost and could be of any lesson type. Matches were introduced in the Quidditch Cup expansion. Uh, and locations were introduced in the Diagon Alley expansion. I don't think they actually got to Prisoner of Azkaban. It was just for Philosopher's Stone and uh, Chamber of Secrets, sadly. So we have Lost Notes. Uh, we have Hagrid and the Stranger. Uh. Oh, we got a sideways one of these. Uh, remember all, an item. During your turn, you may use an action to put a lesson card from your discard pile into play. That one's not bad. Uh, we've got a restricted section. Stop going in the restricted section, kids. It never ends well. 
I like the uh, the art on these. It's a uh... <laughs> it's very cute. We have a wizard crackers thing here, guys. Look at this smug guy. Yeah, he knows what he's doing. Super wizard crackers. Isn't that right, Potter? <laughs> So, yeah, the apologies if I'm not getting them in frame properly. I'm a, a little bit giddy right now. I'm actually coming down from a cold. And uh, the Lemsip is doing its job. The medicine is doing its job, let's say. Accio, that one's not bad. Uh, Transmogrify. And uh, if you'll notice in the bottom right here, uh, we have a diamond. Same as Pokemon. This means uncommon, circle is common, star is rare, and so on. So they, they kept it pretty simple. Ooh. Uh, unusual Pets and Adventure card. This one is also uh, uncommon. Uh, the, the key to Harry Potter training card game is you want to make your opponent deck, which is you, you want to make them run out of cards and whatnot. Here's a lesson card right there. So let me see if I can find a, an appropriate card you would need. You know what? It doesn't matter. I'll just do this one. Like, you would need two whatever blue is uh, in order to play this, essentially. So, yeah, we put those over there. Uh, we've got our charms. And we have a shrinking potion. During your opponent's next turn, prevent all damage done to you. That's not bad. Very costly, though. So, yeah. And now we're going to open up another one. I can sense there's going to be a lot of mess here. So after these, I am also going to tidy up and whatnot. All right, down there you go. <clears throat> Let's have a look here. Pet rat. I don't know about you, but that looks more like a cat to me. Uh. All right, we got boil cure, which is a healing spell. X pos <sighs> magic. We got magic is what we got. Snape's question. Do you play magic the gathering, Potter? No, mate, I play fucking Yu-Gi-Oh in here, and what do I look like? Some kind of spaz? Ten points from Gryffindor. And so on and so forth. Haven't had to bust out the Snape in a while. Uh, Dung Bomb, always a treat. Oh, we got a Pewter Cauldron. Don't think I've ever seen one of these. Uh, to play this card, this card, one of your spell cards from Lesson. Or potions. That should be... Oh, Ollivander's. Rest in peace, John Hurt. You are still missed, my friend. Uh, we have Take Root. We have a Potions Fingerbob. And we have a Transfiguration Fingerbob. Oh, uh, oh, oh, almost missed this one. Ooh, we have a holographic Rubius Hagrid. Oh god, I'm appearing in the camera. I don't like that. Get out of here. Go on. Look at the card. Oh, you can't see it. It's too holographic. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to put that down there where it's safe. Jesus Christ. That was like my chakras all unlocked at the same time. My heaven's gate just became active. <sighs> my hands are the prettiest part of me. That's the only thing that's going to appear on screen. Thank you very much. All right. Let's hope we don't have another panic attack like that for a while. Uh, a Rupment Potion, which I guess is a burping potion of sorts. Uh, we have Lost Notes. Uh, Borbilius. How can the Stranger repeat? Homework. Hermione is loving that shit. Harry is not. Uh, we have a Borrowed Wand, which is possible in Harry Potter. It just won't work as well as it would for the actual user. Uh, Mysterious Egg. We have a Burning Bitterroot Balm. We have a Potions card, a Transfiguration card, and the rare is right on the end. So, uh, Titolando. There we go. So, if the rare is going to be on the end, I might as well just open them up as I've been doing here. You know what? These cards are already starting to get messy. So, if you'll just give me one second, if you'll permit me, darlings, I'm going to have to tidy up here. I'm a bit of a stickler for keeping cards in order, which is weird because the rest of my room looks like a fucking bomb site. But uh, hey ho, OCD works in mysterious ways. Boop, boop, boop. Wizards and witches can do this by magic, but as muggles, we have to put in the effort. And that's what you call class differences, boys and girls. All right, let's open up another one here. Give daddy that good spell. Hmm. 
Come on, Tom. You know how to open cards. Yeah. Righty ho. Hagrid and the Stranger. Expermise. In Carsey Falls. Not bad. Homework again. I need that Flipendo, son. Forgetfulness potion. Not bad. Uh, we have a Remember All. Hiding from Snape. Where are you, Potter? I'll get you to play magic if it's the last thing I do. No, you bloody won't, Mr. Snape. Who said that? Yeah, he's not going to hide from Snape very long at that rate. Apparate. Not quite as uh, flashy as it actually seems. You basically just turn and there's a cracking sound in like, the books and the movies and whatnot. Uh, care of Magical Creatures. we got a Charms. And the rare on the end, Transfiguration Test. Not bad, not bad. Keep them clean, Tom, keep them tidy. And keep them coming, because we have a huge box of these to get through, and I can already feel the tickle in my throat, and that's not a good sign. So we're just going to keep cracking them out here, just going to keep cracking them out. Right, <clears throat> we've got a Pewter Cauldron. We have Giant Tarantula. Not great, not a fan of spiders, neither is Ron. Why can't it be follow the butterflies? Magical mishap. He is being fucking snapped to death. Thanos has gotten all the gems and he is just destroying Harry Potter here. That's not a mishap. That's that's a world extinction event happening. <sighs> Hospital wing. Yeah. Hmm. Had to go in there a few times during the time. Hogwarts, didn't you? Squiggle quill. Very cute. Choose one of your opponent's items in play and discard it. Uh, we got the pet rat who looks like a cat again. Uh, logic puzzle. Discard the adventure your opponent's played. You get the reward. Uh, apothecary. Very cute looking. Uh, got a care of magical creatures. A charms. And a transfiguration exam. Rare on the end there. Good stuff. Alright. We are just going to keep plowing through these. <laughs> this is the song of opening cards. Thankfully these open up quite easy, which is appreciated because I might be getting better, but I've uh, still not got all that energy to do this. Uh, let's have a look. Another squiggle quill. Another pet rat slash cat. Boil cure. Expermise. Snape's question. Dong bomb. Transmogrify. Sniffling potion. No, sorry. Snuffling potion. Hmm. Uh, care of magical creatures. Charms. And the rare on the end is Platform 9 and 3 quarters. That's actually kind of aesthetic. To play this card, discard one of your lessons from play. You get two more actions this turn. Not bad. Oh, and it's the last pack before we move on to our first set of questions. So, let's do this shit. Feel free to sing along with me. Or don't. You're probably having a good time on Christmas morning without the need for such frivolities. Uh, Snape's question, Fluffy falls asleep, Steel Claw, wow, that is basically a Digimon. Whatever. Restrict detection again, Surly Hound, these are creatures you basically play to like do damage and whatnot. Damage each turn, how free, so you hit him three times and he dies basically. Uh, oh, a Forest Troll, there we go, bit more sturdy. Uh, burning Bitterroot Balm. Hiding from Snape again. Uh, potions. Transfiguration. And our rare is a Delivery Owl. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. I'm not uh, collecting all the rares this time. I'll just make a, a note of the holofoils we get and whatnot. And uh, while I go ahead and just collect another seven of these and put them out ready. Why don't we dive into questions and whatnot. And if you're new to the channel... These questions come to us from our patrons, and uh, they're the uh, the guys and girls who help us to basically do this whole thing in the first place. So, what questions do we have today? We have a lot of them. Uh, first question comes from Nocturne Privagini. If you can recall, what is the funniest game you've played? If not, then what's the craziest game you've played? Um, funniest game I've played? Hmm. Funniest game I've played? I can tell you the funniest game I've watched. Um, that would probably be Gregory Horror Show. Uh, that was an old Cloud8745 playthrough that I enjoyed. 
Uh, the craziest game I've played. Oof, that's a tough one. It would have to be probably a WarioWare game. That's the only thing that kind of comes close, really. Uh, thank you, Nocturne. Uh, Zayanoto asks, What were your three favourite songs from Steven Universe the movie? My personal favourite is Other Friends. Electro Swing is just so catchy. My three favourites are Happily Ever After. Um, it's We Can or Who We Are. That's Who We Are. Yes, yeah, Who We Are and Independent Together with Mr. Steg Multiverse. Thank you for your question. Ronald D. Rankin asks, Will we be seeing some HSD playthroughs of upcoming Switch titles, such as Pokemon Sword and Shield, Luigi's Mansion 3, and Link's Awakening Remake in the near future? Can you tell that these are backlogged? Uh, yes, you will be seeing Pokemon Sword next month, January 1st, 2020. Thank you for your question. God, my hands are fat. Shadow Reaper asks, Tell us one of your favourite memories during a recording session that didn't make it into a video. Uh, example, well, one time X said this and I laughed so hard I fell out of my chair, but we had to cut it due to time. I tend to forget these. I'm sorry for the kind of anticlimactic answer, but uh, while I may have gotten over retakes these days, I'm still kind of a stickler for, you know, putting the mistakes in the past and just moving on. You know what I mean? So, uh, Shadow Reaper, I don't really have anything like that, but uh, we do banter behind the scenes, so it's not all business. I've definitely lightened up in recent years. So, um, yeah. That's basically your answer. Thank you very much. And uh, the last one from this batch uh, is from Mauricio Cuervo. What TV show slash anime slash cartoon slash movie slash game series do you wish was brought back and why? Nightmare. Kids game shows. That's with a K, by the way. Kids game shows are nowhere near deadly enough these days. And uh, if you've watched it, I'm sure you'll agree. But that is some good shit, and I would like to see it come back. So thank you, Mauricio, for your question. And now... It's time to open up more of these suckers. Alright, let's go ahead and continue here. Whenever there's a pause, usually I'm just getting a drink. Because my poor throat can't hack talking for a few minutes at a time. Oh, boo-hoo. Poor Tom. Right, Expermise. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. I'm stupid, I guess. Incarcifors. Homework. Forgetful Potion. Forgetful Nurse Potion. Starting to see a lot of repeats now. I'm mostly angling for rares and whatnot. Oh, what's this? Reptile House. What the fuck is going on in this picture? That is abuse. Look at that. That is straight up abuse. Fucking Dursleys. Swear to God. Ah, uh, oh, Pet Toad. It's Trevor. There you go. He has one health. Whenever a spell damages you, you may let Pet Toad take that damage instead. Holy shit. It's like a substitute or something. That's kind of shitty. Uh, then we have a potions card. Then we have a transfiguration card. And we have another hollow foil. I'm going to get back as far away as I can here, but you can still kind of see me. I'm like Hagrid. This is Hannah Abbott. Uh, I'm going to read this off camera. Once per game, you may trade two cards in your hand for two non-healing cards in your discard pile. Jesus Christ. There are more reflections than I care to deal with here. Alright. Next one coming at you. Like a gone snitch in that way. I'm assuming there's like one holofoil every seven packs or something. I don't know, uh, how they stack them really. Uh, Fluffy falls asleep. No. Uh, vicious wolf. Yeah, that's pretty vicious. Damage each turn free, health free. That's a spicy meatball. Uh, boa constrictor. There it is. <sighs> Tarantula. Yeah, you've seen that. Snape's question still unanswered, Mr. Potter. Foul brew. That's a tea that we're not too happy with, eh, Mr. Malfoy? Uh, Stupefy! That is a pretty nice looking card in terms of R. Thank you, Tim Hiddlebrandt, for doing that. What are you doing, you motherfuckers? It was Tumbletor. Takes me back, sorry, it does. That was one of the earliest things in uh, HFC, that dramatic reading of My Immortal. Uh, Transfiguration, Care of Magical Creatures, and the rare on the end. It's Mrs. Norris, so it is. She has one health. Uh, your opponent plays with his or her hand face-up. So it's a snitch card, basically. Good stuff. And we're on to the next one. Just cracking through these, really. It's a lot better when you don't have to, like, stop for every single card. You know, and just read them out and whatnot. Come on, Tom. This pack is doing its best to elude my wiles. Well, I'll get you. 
There's no doubt that I'll get you. This is embarrassing. This is very embarrassing. <sighs> Give me a sec. Here we go. <sighs> All opened up and whatnot. I swear I did not load the card pack. Alright, what we got here? <sighs> we got Hospital Wing. We got Borbilius. We got Pewter Cauldron. Wingardium Leviosa. Holy shit, that fucking hurts. Alright. Uh, Vermilius, which is actually a spell in the uh, the PS1 game, I believe. So that's pretty neat. I'm pretty sure Flipendo is not going to appear here because that was like a game exclusive, I think. Winged Keys. Jesus, ten charms just for that? I'm going to read this one. Uh, once during each of your turns, you may choose one of your opponent's creatures in play. Prevent all damage done to you by that creature until the end of your opponent's next turn. God damn! Potions exam. Look at this motherfucker. That is just Dracula. That is just Dracula. And ten as well. God damn. Just Dracula. It's ridiculous. Ooh. It's like a shiny. Obliviate. Your opponent discards his or her hand. This one I can actually show off because it's not just reflecting me. That is actually really nice. So we have holographic and then we have like shinies and whatnot. I'm just going to call them shiny. Who cares really? Not me, that's for sure. Do, do, do. <sighs> Come on. Render up your secrets to me, Mr. Anton. What, did they pack these a different way or something? What's going on? There we go. Just get in there. Rip them over with your hands, Tom. The fans don't care. The collectors probably do, though. Potions mistake again. Calling these like mistakes or mishaps seems like. Why am I trying to frame this in a way that makes Hogwarts look bad? They look bad anyway. Jesus. We got homework. Cauldron to sieve. Yeah, that's a pretty bad spell to have when you're dealing with acids and whatnot. Forgetfulness potion. Avifors. Another spell from the game. Uh, we have. Scottish Stag, which I very nearly <laughs> read wrong there. Five health. It's a beefy beast, and no mistake. Uh, we got Take Root again. Kelpie. Five health, damage one turn. Not bad. We got a Potions. Transfiguration. Raven to Writing Desk. Sounds like it came out of Alice in Wonderland there, but that's our rare for the thing. You can read the descriptions for these yourself. It's like, it's like interactive content that way, you know? God, there's going to be so much to clean up after this, but uh, I only do one of these a month, so who cares, really? Uh, Pewter Cauldron, Tarantula, Magical Mishap again, uh, Hospital Wing, Squiggle Quill, you're, we're seeing a lot of repeats now. Pet Rat, uh, Reptile House, Apothecary, Potions, Transfiguration, oh, wow. Phoenix Feather Wand. Play this card only if you have cards in play that provide at least three hearts worth of power. If you play this card and you already have a wand in play, discard the old one. That's pretty cool, but it's going on the pile all the same. I don't know, may maybe I'll sort out the rares once we're done here. Maybe I won't. Probably won't at this rate, but uh, it's all good. It's Christmas. I should really be playing video games instead, even though I'm 31 years old. But hey, it's my life. I chose this path, and I'm happy with it, I think. Sure am. Sure am. Alright, we got a borrowed wand. We got a Vermilius. H hang on, I just have to go back to this. This guy's like, are you seeing this shit? This fucking wand? Shit's lit, literally. And then we have Elegibus. I guess they can't read. Not taught at Hogwarts, I suppose. Uh, Giant Tarantula, Magical Mishap, Squiggle Quill, Kelpie, Number 4, Privet Drive. Very different interpretations uh, from the movies and whatnot. Don't think this was finalised at this point. Uh, we have a Charms, a Potions, and our rare is Norbert. 5 damage each turn and 3 health. God damn, he's a beastie boy and no mistake. Alright, one more, and then it's time for the next set of questions. So, let's get to it. Wow, we're just flying through these. Come on, Tom. There we go. 
That's what I'm talking about. <clears throat> we have a forgetfulness potion. Fluffy falls asleep. Accio. Elegibus. Boil Cure. Cauldron to Sieve. Bluebell Flames. That's pretty nice. Uh, Fumos. Not really sure what that spell is. Never heard of it before. Uh, Care of Magical Creatures. A Charms. And another... Another thing where I have to get out of the camera. Nearly Headless Nick. There we go. You can just see the camera in there. Good stuff. So we've got three of those Holofors so far, which is pretty nice. And now it's time for more questions. Before we actually go ahead and uh, ask those questions and answer them, I'm just going to pull out a few more of these and just set them here, just so we're ready for after. You know, future Tom will appreciate that. Not that he appreciates much the little git, but we do what we can here. Alright, that's about seven of those. So, next set of questions. The last set was actually for August 2019. This is September. Again, like I said, working with a backlog. Uh, Morrissey Equiver asks, What were some games that you loved but the final boss didn't hit the landing and was really disappointed with? Oh, that's a tough one. Um, the final boss. Uh, I'm feeling it has to be a Sonic game of sorts. Hmm. But it also says that with games I loved but the final boss didn't really hit the landing. Oh, Morrissey, you ask a really tough question right off the bat, mate. Um, I guess since we're going with Harry Potter, the Voldemort boss in Philosopher's Stone isn't that great. But, you know, that's kind of stretching. I do like the game a lot, but love, hmm, that's a tough one. Um, hmm. Disappointed, again, it's, hmm. I'm going to say, yeah, I'm going to say Voldemort. Final answer, otherwise we're just going to be here all day. Thank you, Morrissey, for your question. Next question is from Ben G. What would you do in the event of a zombie apocalypse? Specifically, the 28 Days Later kind, if you're familiar with that movie. I have seen the film before, not for many years, though. Um, let's see, what would I do in the case of Zombambinos? Um, die, probably. Um, it's my secret fear, zombies, honestly. Just one zombie, though. One slowly working its way around my house in a way that you can't get past it without being bitten. That's the scary shit. That's what I'm scared of, really. Um, so yeah, my answer is die, Ben. <laughs> Thank you for your question. Crawl12 asks, Oh boy, brace yourselves. What is your honest opinion on Ego Raptor? Sorry, I mean Aaron from Game Grumps. Oh boy, let me just hold up my Horcruxes here, because I am going to need them. We got three. There's seven there. Right. Um, I don't like the direction Game Grumps went. This is not an uncommon opinion. I think it's too businesslike now. I think all the charm has been sucked out of it. I think Aaron is just coasting. I don't think they need that many people helping them in the background. I think it's a waste of money. You know, even if it's nice that you can give your friends jobs, I don't think, you know, you need to create a gravy train for everyone, which is rich coming from me. I know I do YouTube for a living and I have a lot of help from people as well. But <laughs> Game Grumps started as just two guys on a couch playing video games. And yes, you can't go far with just that business model, but you've made it too business-like. The jokes are too stale. You know, the business is just too much in the focus. It's kind of like Jontron in that regard. Ever since he got that, like, big set and whatnot. Oh, he'll put out a good video every now and then. Like, I liked his VR Troopers thing, oh, Bob, pretty nicely. But it's mostly just stale, repetitive content. And again, hypocrite that I am, <laughs> there's something, something, uh, things in your brain. Um, I do Let's Plays, they're repetitive by nature, but I just don't like how Aaron has taken the business, turned it into a proper business, and just sucked all the life out of it. So I'm sorry, but that's just how I feel. Also, the recent trend of the really clickbaity, like, thumbnails is just cringe. And I don't like that word, but it's the only way I can use to describe it. So yeah, I think I used up about six of those seven whore crooks eye there, but uh, that's just how I feel, sadly. So yes, thank you, Cruel, for your question. Gonna regret that one. Next up, we have Shadow Reaper. 
Besides the members of HFC, have you met or collabed with any of your YouTubers? I know there are a few prominent British YouTubers who also do video games. Any crossovers? No, because that would require me to go outside and I'm housebound right now. Um, working on it, but uh, no, I mostly I mostly stick with the guys these days, because I think like the days of hooking up with bigger YouTubers is behind me. Uh, the way I missed my the channel uh, years ago with that hiatus and you know the beefs with FTCR and so on and so forth. That thankfully aren't there anymore, but it's kind of like, we'll never really be friends, but we won't be enemies. So stuff like collaborations in that regard are not happening, and I don't really feel like a lot of the bigger ones associated with them would want to work with HFC either, but um, that's just me, that's my fault, and people who, you know, have nothing to do with HFC or FTC or anyone like that, I don't think would want to do it anyway, because realistically, we are a small channel, so... You know, it's not that they're above that sort of thing. It's that they're busy. These are busy guys. I don't think you realize that. All you see is what's on camera. There's a lot that goes on behind it. You know, I'm just sitting here, you know, with a camcorder in front of me, a headset on, and then I'll edit later. That's fairly simple compared to what these other guys do. But, um, yeah, no such uh, collab stuff uh, in the present or in the near future. Shadow, thank you for your question, mate. Alright, Nocturne Privagini asks, Mystery Science Theatre, would you classify your playthroughs, commentaries as such? Uh, yeah, pretty much, I'd say. Uh, the style of our commentary um, actually evolved from my uh, love of the DVD commentaries for Future Armor, which uh, I'm a big fan of. Definitely recommend you pick up the DVDs and check them out. Uh, I've also actually recently watched all of the uh, the Harry Potter films with the Rift tracks, it, which is also just a treat. So I definitely recommend you check that out. Uh, I just recommend you have fun with commentary when you do it, really. Uh, I don't really write out anything um, anymore. Let me just clarify something, by the way. A few years back, I had, like, super bad anxiety. Um, it's still iffy nowadays, but I mostly keep it in check for commentaries. Um, but there was a time when I couldn't even start like episode parts without having a written intro like hello welcome back to blah 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 this is blah 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 and we're gonna do this and so on so if you ever heard like we write our commentaries that's all that was it wasn't like what happens after the intro just clearing it up but uh yeah i would classify them as uh riffing per se nocturne thank you for your question uh, and the last for this batch from royalty ranking do you have a favorite seasonal game that you like to play around this type of year Oh, it's got to be like a nice RPG like Xenoblade Chronicles or something like a Mario or a Sonic comfort food, you know, comfort video games just to get nice, nice and cozy. You know what I mean? Thank you, Ronald, for your question. And that's it for that batch. So I'm going to open up uh, the next one, which I think might actually be one of the last. And then we're going to open up some more cards. All righty, here we go. We've opened up 14 packs so far. So this will bring us to 21, I think. Yes, 7, 14, 21. I are good at maths. Homework, Cauldron to Civ, Forgetfulness Potion, Avi Falls, uh, Scottish Stag, Vicious Wolf. I think I might have all the cards by the end of this. Four Privet Drive, uh, da, 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 Charms, and we have a Ronald Weasley. There you go. Hmm. Oh no, I'm fat. Uh, Ron, get over there. I don't like you. Ron revealed my fatness. That's not fair. I'm just checking we have the right amount. Yes, there we go. <clears throat> Good stuff. Which end will be the one that opens it? You'll never know. It's a surprise. It's a surprise that I can actually get out of bed in the morning and create content sometimes when the damn cards won't let me in. Thank you. It just never ends, guys. It never ends. Uh, we have a Curious Raven. Uh, we have Akio. There we go. Uh, Dong Bomb. Foul Brew. Uh, Out of the Woods. I like Into the Woods. That is a good musical. Uh, Hagrid. Baby Dragon. Vanishing Glass. You wanna fucking start, mate? Oh, Jesus. No, no, Mr. Snake. No. That's what I fucking thought, mate. Then we have a Charms. Then we have a Potions. And then we have... Me? I really should have gotten royalties for this, but no, it's Mountain Troll. Four damage each turn with four health. Not 
bad.jpg. All right, next one coming up. Hope you got what you wanted today, by the way. If you didn't, don't be a bitch about it. Just trade in what you don't want. That's amazing. It's a, it's like a life hack, if you will. Uh, noxious poison. Uh, we have a borrowed wand. Vermilius. Elegibus. Giant tarantula. Magical mishap. Harry is dead. Confundus. That's a proper spell in the book. Uh, pet toad. Transfiguration. Care of magical creatures. And meet the centaurs. The not so popular sequel to Meet the Parents. Look at Eldred's fucking face. Oh, oh, Harry, it's your pal Agrid. We have a full playthrough of the PS1 version of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, by the way. That playthrough was a laugh riot, and we had a lot of fun with it, so I recommend you check that out if you want more uh, Harry Potter and whatnot from HFC. Uh, we also have a goal uh, on the Patreon to cover all the films uh, with movie commentaries and whatnot, as well as the Fantastic Beast ones. Yes, the first one and its sequel, so... Maybe hit up the Patreon and pledge if you want to help us reach that goal. Squiggle Quill, Pet Rat, Boil Cure, X Whatever, Snape's Question, Dong Bomb, Confundus, Baby Dragon, Potions, Transfiguration, and we have a Malevolent Mixture for the Rare. Neat. Alright, next one coming at you. Thankfully this one just opened. I think it senses my weariness. I'm going to need another lamp sip after this, I think. Uh, vicious Wolf. Alright. Uh, my Camry battery... Camry battery is flashing, which is weird because I definitely have it plugged in. Uh, Wingardium Leviosa. Uh, potions Mistake. Uh, we have Boa Constrictor. Cauldron to Sieve. Noxious Poison. We have a cage. That's interesting. That's an item, that is. Uh, alchemy. This dude is loving this shit. Look at that. It's like, whoa, Nelly. Magic is great. Uh, charms. Uh, potions. And Incendio. Another spell from the game and the book and whatnot. Let me check that this camcorder is properly clicked in and whatnot. There we go. And it seems the sun has a lecture to come out in between that so uh, sorry if the natural lighting seemed a bit dull uh, we're in the UK what can I say I should invest in one of those like fluorescent light things like a uh, Max Mofo has but I just don't have the the room in my room for it you know just how it is come on you bitch give me the cards that I crave it's not doing it guys oh now I'm all flustered come on Tom yeah, get in there, my son. He's in there. He's out of it. Oh, sorry. Christmas cheer kicked in there, I think. <clears throat> right. Lost notes. Uh, we have Curious Raven, the uh, prequel to that Sir Raven. Don't know how I say some of these shitty jokes with a straight face, honestly. Uh, Akio, Dong Bomb, Fabru, Out of the Woods. Bluebell Flames, Potions Exam, Care of Magical Creatures, Charms, and Potion Ingredients. That is just weed. Look at it. Hermione is going to get fucking blazed before the next test. I'm just saying it how it is, guys, you know? Look at all these cards, by the way. That's all the cards I've opened so far. It's kind of nuts. Alright. Next one coming up. <sighs> Get in those flaps. I really gotta stop saying flaps. Whatever. I'll do what I want. Uh, we got the Surly Hand. Forest Troll. He's there. Pet Rat slash Cat. Elegibus. Steel Claw. Out of the Woods. Mysterious Egg. I wanna be close to you. Uh, Diagon Alley. There you go. I think he said diagonally. Uh, potions. Transfiguration. Ooh, another sparkly. Invisibility cloak. Very nice. And they're like star sparklies as well. Coolio. I've gotten more holofoils than those. 
I would have expected it to be the other way around. But uh, yeah, it looks like uh, I'm out of packs here, so I'm going to get another seven. There's two. I feel like a kid in a candy store opening up this many things, you know what I mean? But that's what I'm doing with my Patreon funds, that's what I said I would do with my Patreon funds, is get stuff to open, and that's what I'm doing, so that is what I'm doing. <clears throat> Alright, there's seven there. How many are actually left in this pack? Let's have a look here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, yeah. <clears throat> After this next set of questions and uh, this lot, there'll be eight left. So, yeah, now we're moving on to October's questions here. So, Shadow Reaper asks, tell us one fact about you that many people do not know, do not know. Uh, Let's see, I'm sort of ambidextrous, I write with my right hand, but I do most of my actions, plain thoughts only now, like picking up a, a, a mug, or like opening doors, and so on and so forth. So yeah, there you go, Shadow Reaper. Well, let's have a look here, let's have a looky poo. Next question is from Royal D Ranking. What's your favourite Halloween show, special movie to watch during this time of year? Again, these questions came in during October. It's got to be the Halloween tree with Mound Shroud. Oh yes, he's here to sell you some pumpkins and whatnot. Oh, I haven't done this voice in a while. It's like every other fucking voice I do. It's me, but a different pitch. Very, very sad. I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, the Halloween tree final answer. Thank you, Ronald. Cruel12 asks, Hey Tom, happy Halloween. In the spirit of Halloween... What is your favourite slasher killer? I know you don't like horror movies, so instead of the one that most scares you, what about the one that you think has the coolest backstory, weapon, costume, mask, etc? Probably going to be Freddy, with the claw and whatnot. Um, <laughs> not the one from the NES game. Oh, look out, Freddy's coming. T. M. <sighs> That's hard to do in front of a camera, you got to reverse it. Um, but yeah, I like Freddy. He's a stylish guy, he's aesthetic, and he has a cool method of killing y'all. So, yeah, Freddy, and that's my final answer. Thank you, Cruel. Nocturne Privatini asks, Who are your five favourite characters in all gaming fiction? Oof. I'm happy to get these questions, but when you give me, like, do five instead of just one, that's a lot harder, ironically. Uh, pff, Sonic, Mario, Sora from Kingdom Hearts, Crash Bandicoot, Spyro. That's my top five. Uh, Banjo would just come like outside of that in like number six or seven, I think. And I'm very happy to have him and Kazooie in Smash, by the way. They are mwah, beautiful. So thank you, Nocturne, for your question. Uh, the last one for this batch, from Sokuya. Uh, when it comes to the beginning of you doing commentary, what was the big aha moment for you uh, when you decided you wanted to do commentaries? Um, when I had watched enough LPs on YouTube and decided, hey, that looks cool. I want to do that. Same reason I'm actually doing these unboxing videos, really. I want to copy what the more successful people are doing. Not for the success, but because it looks fun. You know what I mean? And that's really how I should live life. If you find something within, you know, the boundaries of the law that's fun, give it a shot. Who knows? You may develop a new hobby. Again, within the boundaries of the law. Don't be silly now. Uh, and that's all the questions for... October, I've got to get my mouse, that's fallen down. Uh, the next set will be kind of small, so we are going to endeavour to get through this box here and then move on to November. But first, more cards. Oh, we're nearing the end, I can feel it now. Feel it in my bones, my giblets even. Alrighty, I'm going to have to like start a second stack of cards now. <clears throat> all right, we got Lost Notes, Hagrid and the Stranger, Remember All, Restricted Section, <laughs> Wizard Crackers again. Let me just get one of those for like the camera and whatnot. There you go. See if I can move my fat former thing. Wizard Crackers. That's the thumbnail. I'll hold you to it, Carto. Accio. Ooh. Peeves causes trouble. Peeves was not in the movie, but apparently it was going to be played by uh, the late, great Rick Mayall. So, um, yeah, a little bit of trivia for you there. Uh, Pomfrey's Pick Me Up, Madame Pomfrey. She uh, works in the hospital of Hogwarts. That school sees way too many, like, malpractice suits for its own good. 
What the fuck? Titilando. A, a tickling spell, I guess? Creepy. Not as creepy as the love potions that uh, underage witches and wizards can buy. And yes, I said witches and wizards. It's not just the girls buying them. If that doesn't set alarm bells ringing, I don't know. I don't think JK thought that one through all that much. But then again, maybe she's thinking too much these days. A little bit too much of galaxy brain, you know what I'm saying? Down you go. As for you. Right. <clears throat> uh, we have Vermilius. I thought that said Crumpet Potion for a second. Uh, kind of getting a bit peckish now. Dung Bomb. Toe Biter. Squiggle Quill. And Carcivores. Burning Bitterroot. Uh, we got the Cage again. Uh, potions. Transfiguration. And on the end, we have Harry Hunting. That must be uh, Toodley's friend from the book who looks like a rat or whatever. Yeah, that sounds about right. <clears throat> Oh, Harry, you would go on to be a millionaire. You sure showed them. To be fair, Doodly stopped being a prick in the end. You know, I think they actually kept in touch if my uh, Pottermore lore is up to date and whatnot. I swear I've done that, like, test twice now. I just wanted to be a Hufflepuff. I desired to be a Hufflepuff. What can I say? And the Sorting Hat should take your choices into account. That's all I'm saying. Uh, Cauldron to Sieve. Forgetfulness Potion, Avi Falls, Scottish Stag, Vicious Wolf, Lost Notes, Snuffling Potion, ooh, Silver Cauldron. That's neat. I just like the green, really. The green used for potions is nice. Uh, we got charms. We got potions, and another one of these fucking things, Draco Malfoy. There you go. It's so shiny you can barely read it. Onto the pile you go. Ugh. I kind of have to stretch out in front of the camera when I do these, so if I seem a bit tired after opening a pack of cards, I swear it's not because I'm out of breath or anything. It's just because I'm fat, okay? Fat and belaboured by opening children's playing cards. I hope little Karibo's doing okay. I've heard he's like ill recently, and uh, I like the guy. I haven't watched a... Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh would have bridged in a fairly long time, but I still wish the guy well. Good luck to you, Martin. Uh, Steel Claw, Remember All, Far Brew, uh, Surly Hound, Toe Biter, uh, we got Avifors, uh, Kelpie, uh, Apparates, Care of Magical Creatures, Charms, and a History of Magic repeat for a rare. Hmm. Okay, then. On there we go. Ugh. All right, a few more of these, and then the last questions of the day. Uh, yeah, there we go. Just get in there, Tom. Just rip it open. Yeah, that's a lad. Oh, <sighs> all right. Noxious poison. Uh, we have borrowed wand. Magical mishap. Boil cure. Curious raven. I am going to need to uh, put these on a more even playing field, I think. <sighs> Nurture. Ooh. Dragonheart wand. Neat. I think we got the shiny for the phoenix wand, or maybe we didn't. Hmm. That's cool, though. I think that's what my wand was filled with when I uh, did the thing on Pottermore. I'm not reading out all of these. Not now. Human chess game. Holy shit, Hermione is terrified. But, oh, fucking hell, I'm a witch. Oh my god, I'm famous. I'm not. Hilarious. Alright. Keep it going. That one just was eager to be open. Do you see that shit? Hot diggity damn. Alright. We got Toe Biter. Wizard Crackers, gotta love him. Uh, Pewter Cauldron. Borbilius, Avifors, Scottish Stag, got to say that very carefully, Four Privet Drive, Ollivanders, then we got a couple of these, and a Transfiguration Test for a uh, rare. Okay, Koki. Just make sure everything's fine there, all stacked properly and whatnot. 
Because these cards can and will go everywhere once you start opening them. You have no idea. Oh, bless it. Open up for me. It's taking pity on me. I appreciate that. Okie okay, okay. Uh We have Vicious Wolf. I, I try not to do it like that, just so you can see the whole card, which is why I'm picking from the top. Uh, that one, Wizard Crackers again. Are you trying to make me laugh? I'm being a serious recording man here. Come on. Potions Mistake. Again, I would call that a lawsuit. Uh, Alchemy. Uh, Dragon Heart Wand. Then we have a couple of these. And then we had Transfiguration Exam on the end. There we go. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to open up just one more. And then we are going to answer questions uh, for November. Of which there are only a few. So that should be fine. Uh, let's have a look. Five... Uh, yep, there we go. There's the last seven. So, uh, yeah, might as well just put the box back there. And I guess put some of these cards in there. Just to make room. There we go. So we'll open up just one more, and then we'll answer the last questions. Uh, this one senses finality. It doesn't want to be opened. It's too bad. End time time. Oh, right. Snape's question. Gotta stop doing that fun swipe again. Far Brew, Hospital Wing, Borbilius. I must have most, if not all of them at this point. Pewter Cauldron, Wingardium Leviosa, Guard Dog. Not sure if I had that one or not. It's a beast, no mistake. Draco's Trick. Yes, I've beaten you. <laughs> Discard the adventure you've played, you get the reward. That is kind of lulzy, I will admit. And then we have a couple of these. And then we have another fucking Don't Look at Tom card. There you go. Hermione Granger. Alright, the last few questions. Ronald D. Rankin asks, Knowing that the Gen 4 Pokemon remix will be on the Switch, do you think it get the same changes or a Dex cut as well? <sighs> I hope it doesn't get the Dex cut, that is, because the Pokemon Pool in Diamond and Pearl was pretty shit, to be honest with you. Like, if you don't pick Chimchar, good luck finding a Fire-type there. You have, like, Ponyta, and I think that's it. Maybe Magmar, I'm not sure. But I hope there's, like, a lot more Pokemon, at the very least. And we won't have to worry about HMs, which is great, because I think that at, like, Gen 4, it became the, the most insufferable thing, because there was, like, Defog and stuff like that. Not a fan. So, I hopefully expect the same quality of life changes that Sword and Shield got, and maybe build on that engine, because there are a few holes in there, let's say. Uh, thank you, Ronald, for your question. Shadow Reaper asks, What would you recommend as a good mark for people to look into recording, or looking to get into recording and whatnot? Uh, not the one I use. I've been using a 20 quid headset for like the past 10 years and whatnot. Um... Snowball is something I've heard recommended and whatnot. I would honestly just shop around. I don't mean like buy something on a whim, just like look look up reviews, read reviews, look online. There are actually websites out there that will tell you uh, what YouTubers use in terms of like their equipment and whatnot. This is actually how I found out uh, what camera Max uses. Uh, and I think I might actually be saving up to get one of those uh, in the future because this thing is fine, but it only goes up to 50 frames per second, and I would prefer one that goes up to uh, 60, if possible, uh, just for future reference and whatnot. So, yeah, shop around, Shadow Reaper. That's my advice to you. Uh, thank you for your question. And the final question is from Cruel12. Hey, Tom, happy birthday. What was the best gift that you ever got for your birthday? A smile from my granddad and grandma and mum as they said, Tom, you are awesome. I'd go so far as to say you're epic, but no, not really. It was a GameCube that had a Switch at the back that could go from NTSC to JP and played American and fucking Japanese games. It was like 500 quid or something. I'm not sure I own it anymore. I think I sold it a while ago. Um, but that was for like my 12th or 13th birthday and my mum was a hard worker and I was spoiled. You can probably tell from some of my behaviour on HFC. Um, but I've tried to work my way out of those sorts of behaviours. Um, but that was that was a treat. I love the GameCube. And uh, I did get a, a European one later on. 
when it actually came out in the UK, but that's probably the best one. Christmas was always the time for like consoles and whatnot when I was growing up, and uh, I'll always appreciate that. I have fond memories of Christmases, but um, that's my best one. Thank you, Crow, for your question. And that brings us to the end of the questions for today. We covered August, September, October, and November here, so I'm all caught up, and all that's left is these last seven packs of cards, so let's get into them, shall we? Oh, you can't stop me. Once you pop, you something, something can't stop. I think I might be going a bit manic, boys and girls. But it's fine, because I'm almost done. Right here, uh, we got a pet rat. Uh, Elegibus, uh, Steel Claw, Out of the Woods, Potion's Mistake, Homework, Logic Puzzle, something I'm apparently not very good with, if Barbara's you is anything to go by. Uh, Guard Dog, great game by the way, just very, very hard. Charms, Potions, and another Shrinking Potion. Alright, <clears throat> let's keep it going, Tom. Keep it going. There we go. Oh, <sighs> open that motherfucking card. Doo -boo -doo -boo -boo. Just rip it open. Get in there. I can't wait for Doom Eternal. Just speaking of ripping and tearing. March 2020, same month as the new Animal Crossing. I can't believe it. It's the best timing in the world. There's that potion. We got a dung bomb. We got a toe biter. A squiggle quill. Incarcivores, Surly Hand, Logic Puzzle, Still Hind from Snape, Couple of Finger of Lessons, and the Elixir of Life. A nice shiny one there. Ooh, very nice. To play this card, discard two of your potion lessons from play. Shuffle up to 16 non healing cards from your discard pile into your deck. Holy shit! That's pretty amazing, actually. God damn. Alright, let's just keep it going. That elixir of life put some life into me. Holy shit. I see you. There's a troll here. Troll in the dungeon. Just thought you ought to know. Alright. We got the troll. We got the rat. We got a legibus. I'm going to start a new park because I feel that one's starting to tip over. Uh, Steel Claw. Out of the woods. Potion Mistake. Fumos again, uh, Logic Puzzle, a uh, couple of lessons, and then we have the Draft of Living Death as the rare. Nice. That's a standard potions thing to make in Hogwarts, I believe. Yeah, I'm starting to run out of words here. I said Hogwarts in the singular, and that's like a crime against nature. At least in terms of grammar, anyway. Right. Hospital Wing. We have Toe Biter, Wizard Crackers, yeah, that just cracks me up, that does, I'm sorry. Uh, Pewter Cauldron, Borbilius, Avifors, Apparate, Draco's Trick, couple of lesson cards, and on the end, Raven to Writing Desk. And now, only three remain. That's actually a pretty good thing just there. There we go. Get them all in shot. Boom. Thumbnail. It's actually kind of nice. Alrighty. Uh, our big old stretch. And now we get into the nitty gritty. The cards. What separates the man watching the guy opening cards and the guy actually opening cards from opening cards? I don't know, but I'm starting to feel the tightness now. I've been doing this for about an hour. Uh, Noxious Poison. Uh, let's go a little bit quicker through here. Borrowed Wand, Familius, Elegibus, if there's any new ones, I'll show them off. Magical Mishap, Dog Breath Potion, Apothecary, Couple of Potions, and the rare is a Delivery Owl. There we go. Put them on the pile. Second to last one, guys. Here we go. Thank you for mercifully opening quick. I appreciate that. Oh, right. Quick style. Scottish Stag. Vicious Wolf. Wingardium Leviosa. Potions Mistake. Boa Constrictor. Cold and Sieve. Diagon Alley. Dog Breath. Transfiguration. Care of Magical Creatures. And then we have the Gringotts Cartwright. 
it had to it just had to curse me with memories of trying to get the uh, famous witches and wizards cards did it in that fucking ps1 game i swear to christ <sighs> all right the very last pack here guys are you ready because i'm not sure i am let's do this shiz and of course the final one doesn't want to go easy that's fine i'll just rip and tear it's all good i have enjoyed this by the way because i certainly have scottish stag vicious wolf Wingardium Leviosa, Potion's Mistake, Boa Constrictor, Cold Sieve, Reptile House again, Fumos, we've got these, and one last one of these, Dean Thomas. And how lucky is that to have Thomas, the surname, for the very last one, when you're dealing with Ntom64. Oh lordy. Well, that was the uh, the base set booster box. With its 36 booster packs for the Harry Potter trading card game. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, if you want to help us do more of this sort of thing. Uh, buy more booster boxes to open. Uh, more like mystery minis to unbox. Feel free to hit up Patreon. Uh, there are tiers uh, you can go to. Where you can get special stuff and whatnot. Such as your own TV comms on shows that you want to see. But uh you don't have to do that you can go on the lower ones as well five dollars for example will get you stuff on our channel early like lps and such let's look at the cards we've got here if i can just back out the shot uh hermione granger uh draco malfoy i'm gonna have to go at an angle here draco malfoy there we go ron weasley nearly headless nick Hannah Abbott. Uh, why do they have to be so holographic? Rubius Hagrid. And obviously Dean Thomas. And then we had like the sparkly ones as well. So yeah, let's have a look at these. Gringotts Cart Ride. The Elixir of Life. Invisibility Cloak. That was nice. And then we had Obliviate. May cast that on myself after I'm done with this, just to forget the pain of opening cards for the internet. May have taken me a while to do. It may not even be Christmas by the time you watch it, but this was the Christmas special of Entom Opens Up. Uh, join me in January for what may be the last one in a while, just for you know money-related reasons, uh, where we actually celebrate the Kingdom Hearts free DLC Remind dropping on the PlayStation 4, etc., by opening up a few of these, which are Kingdom Hearts free mystery mini so i'm going to open up about 12 of these and answer a lot less questions than what i answered today uh that was just to get through the backlog and whatnot but yeah that's going to be fun so yeah thank you guys and uh thanks for watching the special edition of ed tom opens up bye bye